Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, to, in today's video, what I'm going to be showing you is what I've been working on here while I'm on home time. I actually ordered my LED lights, uh, LED headlights for the truck. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, if you're driving anything prior to a 2022 Kenworth, um, they don't come with LED lights on, on the headlights. They come with the normal, you know, kind of so soft amber lighting. And I'll tell you, those bulbs aren't necessarily too bad, but when you're driving, if you're gonna do a lot of night driving, you're gonna find yourself having to use your high beams a lot. And that could be dangerous for multiple reasons because once your high beams meet another person's high beams, you're pretty much blind. And you're gonna be blinding a lot of people out on the road. So you're gonna be constantly turning off your high beams, turning them on. And you, if you try to use just your regular headlights at, at night, your visibility is probably about maybe five, feet at best and on those really dark roads with no headlights on them especially the state highways and, and um, roads like that you want to be able to see a little just a little bit more past that you want to be able to see at least you know maybe 20 to 30 feet without having to put on your high beams and blast everybody this is the solution to that Kenworth like I said Kenworth has already figured out that that solution by actually pre-installing LED headlights in their newer in their newer models to after 2022 all their models are now coming with LED lights so you don't have to do this but especially if you're thinking about hopping on with a company like CFI uh, Snyder Swift any one of those companies when you first start off you're not going to start off if you do then you're one of the lucky ones but most of the time you're going to start off with an older truck you're going to start off with a truck that's either going to be a around a 2018 to about a 2020 at best, right? So you're probably gonna start off with about a 2018 to 2019. Most trunky companies, at least the bigger ones, they like to rotate their trucks out. Uh, they don't usually let them roll more than about four years. So you might drive a 2017 to 2016, but chances are at this point at 2022, they probably already sold off their, their 2016s and 17s. They may have a couple of 18s rolling around a bunch of 19s, 20s, 21s, 22s, and so on and so forth. But starting off, they're gonna start you off in an older truck that probably has over 200,000 miles, and that's at least two to three years old. Well, if you get one of those, you're gonna, you're gonna have to deal with the normal headlights. The way around it is right here in front of me. It's, it's these uh, Forcer LED lights from Farron, and you can get these on Amazon. All you have to do is just look, up, look this up. You can take a screenshot of this, you can write it down. Look the look up Farron Forcer LED lighting and make sure that you find the H the the, 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 the FX ones and the H and they fit the H11 uh, connections. The box comes with two with a set of two and they have and they already have attached the power converters with them. So it's very easy. You just take the old the old bulbs out, you unplug them from the power. And then you just plug in the new ones. You just you know fasten them, fasten them in there, and then plug in the power converters to the power connectors, and then put it all together and turn it on, and you'll have LED lighting. So I've already I've already installed it. I didn't really want to sit there mess around trying to record a video on how to install them because I don't have a mount right now. It's kind of difficult to kind of position the camera, <laughs> but it's they're very easy to install if you've installed. Uh, LED, you know, if you've installed bulbs for headlights in your in your car or, or normal trucks, then it's the same concept. You just get you just get to the compartment, you take out the old one, you put in the new one, and then bam. But what I am going to show you here in just a minute is what it looks like when you have LED lights instead of normal lights on these on these trucks. All right, everyone. So I just finished installing the headlights, the uh, new LEDs on the truck. And as you, I'm sitting in the, in the truck right now, and as you can see ahead of me, I have no headlights on yet. So it's almost like really, really dark outside. And I'm gonna turn on these headlights and I'm gonna show you what they look like. So let me go ahead and turn those on now. This is my visibility now with these headlights. It's pretty good if I say so myself before with the other with the other headlights that I had the normal ones I could probably see to about that side where the uh 
entrance of the sidewalk happens right there in front of the uh, in front of that fence right here where you see the entrance of the sidewalk right there is about where my visibility was with the old headlights the original the original headlights that were in this truck which are kind of like what that car just passed by they were like those but not you know not that bad but uh with these leds now i get visibility all the way up to where that uh where that where that car is where the red truck and passed it that's pretty good visibility at night you're going to be able to see what's going on on the, on the side of you and that's very important for multiple reasons. You want to be able to see people. You want to be able to see animals, debris, things of that sort. And those are just the kind of things you can't see with the normal headlights that were installed on here. You would have to switch over to your high beams, which those are your high beams. And to give you an idea, these are high beams. Now I have the high beams on. And that just tells you, even without them, how much visibility I still get with the LEDs. It's not that much of a difference. And with these LEDs, you're not going to be blinding people by having your high beams on like this. So imagine having to drive this truck with your high, with only your high beams on at night because you can't see anything with the normal headlights. So I've kind of alleviated that problem. So I thought I'd just give you all that tip that, you know, if you, this is not something that your company is going to do for you. You, you can't ask them to install LED headlights. They're not going to do that for you. It's up to you if you decide if you decide I just want to work with the normal ones, I can make it work. But I'll tell you, visibility is everything in this job. If you can't see something, you're in danger. You have to be able to see where you're going and clearly. And if you can't, then you're in trouble. You're gonna you're gonna get yourself into a lot of um, predicaments. And so if, if there's any way to improve your visibility, I would definitely do that. That's what I did for myself here. So you can order these on Amazon. Like I said, uh, they're they're forty bucks for the set. For me, I feel like that's not a big deal. Forty dollars for the set. I was super excited. I was almost half expecting these things to cost like a hundred bucks or something like that. I was already, I was like, I mean, I was already kind of ready to bite the bullet and say, eh, you know, a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. I guess if, you know if it means I can see better. But when I saw on Amazon that there were only forty dollars. And that many people have used the, this particular set in these trucks, and they, they, uh, you know, they they use them, and they they they'll go to their grave saying that they're good. <laughs> they live and die, they live or die by these, you know. So they're pretty good, from what I hear. Uh, as far as uh, life is concerned, I guess that's what I'm gonna find out here pretty soon. How much life I can get out of these. Uh, headlights but i'm very excited to go on the road now and drive at night with these led headlights versus the normal ones that are in there but yeah guys so it's not that hard to do if you have any questions about it feel free to leave it in the comments and let me know um what you, what you think but yeah i'm pretty excited about this i'm ready to get back on the road um in a couple of days so yeah i'm gonna get some rest i'm gonna keep relaxing and then uh, i'll see you guys on the road later